So here's my whole entire setup. If you guys have been keeping up with the past couple videos, you know that a lot has changed in my setup. I completely revamped my whole entire room to a Christmas themed, more specifically to a blue and white Christmas theme, instead of the past kind of green red color scheme that I've always gone with. I'm very happy with how everything has turned out. I've never really done one of these before and I was a little nervous, but I am super happy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting off with the desk, I've had this for such a long time. It's a custom built desk that my dad made me. This desk is honestly one of my favorite aspects of my setup, partially because my dad fully custom built it for me. The best part about this, and if you've kept up with some of my content in the past, is that it has a secret cable drawer. This is perfect for cable management as I don't ever have to worry about cable raceways, cable sleeves, zip ties, anything. Everything is just stored in this little secret compartment. And when I'm done, all I gotta do is push it up, the little magnet clicks, and it blends perfectly into my desk. This may be slightly difficult to see, and I apologize for that, but just to point out, there are five different holes that are on the back of the secret cable drawer, and it allows me pretty much no matter where I feed a cable behind my desk, I have a hole that I can feed into my secret cable drawer, which is so convenient. But that's pretty much for the desk. I get comments all the time that people say it doesn't match. I know this may not be the most ideal color considering that the rest of my room is pretty much blue and white, but this desk means a lot to me. It's built very well. My dad built it, and it's kind of like an heirloom to me. It's something I feel like I'll always use in some aspect of my setup. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about lighting. If you guys have kept up with me, you know I have been very basic when it comes to lighting, but I really don't think you have to spend a lot of money to get good quality lighting. This is a Fabu Tech softbox that I've had for a long time. I bought it as a pair. And when I originally bought it, the second one kind of burnt out completely. So I've just ended up, I kept the other one. It's worked perfectly fine for the past like three or four years. I don't ever plan on switching on my lighting unless I move setups or move out eventually, I'll probably change things up. But for now, this has served its purpose and it is well worth the $50. Moving over to the right light, this light actually recently broke and I ended up buying the same one because I liked it so much. This is a newer ring light and my favorite part about this is that you can customize and have like dimmer options. Oh my gosh, that is so bright. This is perfect, especially for product filming. For example, I if I'm filming B-roll of my mouse, I kind of like the angle and look that it gives off, you know, with the light in the background. And and it is perfect for stream, especially considering that I'm sitting in this chair. It just provides a really nice lighting and it's perfect because I can constantly adjust it. Whereas this one is just one consistent lighting. Next, let's talk about audio. I do have my mic arm covered in some garland, but this is the Rode PSA1 mic arm with a Rode pod mic as my microphone. I have my XLR cable, cable managed on the inner layer of my desk. This is what it kind of looks like. I hope the camera is capturing this well. But for the people that stream or make any sort of content, you'll know that if you have an XLR cable that is interfering with other cables in your setup, it'll have this buzzing sound whenever you're trying to record with your microphone. That's why I decided to cable manage the XLR cable on the inner layer of my desk to prevent that from happening. Moving over to the audio interface that I'm using, I'm still rocking the Go XLR Mini. This has been one of my favorite mixers. There have been other options that have dropped, but I personally think that this is still the best bang for your buck when it comes to customization and just convenience, especially as a streamer. I recently swapped out my headphones. I was using the HyperX Cloud Mix for the longest time. I complained about them purely because of the price point. And when Drop hit me up and sent me out the HD 58X, I've never wanted to go back to that headset. Moving over to the more peripheral side of things, this has become my favorite mouse pad and I think it matches the Christmas theme setup very, very well. It's from Gutsy Aiden. I have a lot of his pads, super high quality, covers my desk well, looks cool my setup and has got great glide for my mouse. I'm still rocking with the same custom keyboard that I built a couple years ago. There's a YouTube video on this on my channel. This is my favorite keyboard. It's the most expensive keyboard that I have. It sounds super nice. It's got some ink black switches. I custom built this myself and just something I'm kind of proud of, I guess you could say. I have a white coiled cable from High Start. These are super impractical, but I think also look really nice in my setup. The mouse is the G Pro X Superlight. And originally I had the um, stock grips on the side. They started to peel off and the adhesive just started getting everywhere. It was absolutely disgusting. So I decided to pick up some new mouse grips. They're already getting dirty. Wow, that does not look good. But they made a huge difference. I personally really enjoy these, especially when 
gaming because my hands tend to get sweaty if I'm like focusing up or playing a more competitive style game. And I think mouse grips are really, really nice to have. Then we have my stream deck, super convenient for streaming. But if you're not a streamer, I really don't see the point to buy one of these. Next, we're gonna talk about my monitors. The main monitor, I'll have these all linked down below in the description. This is a 280 Hertz monitor. I have a 144 Hertz monitor up here and then a 75 Hertz monitor over here. I've rocked with the same monitor layout for the longest time. It works perfect for streaming. I have my game, Spotify and Discord up here, and then my chat like in OBS over here. I really don't see me switching up the monitor layout. I know it's kind of basic in the eyes of every TikTok tech creator, but it really does work well for me, and I think I'm gonna keep it. Moving over here, this is my basic tripod. It was around $15 from Amazon. It gets the job done, and I absolutely love it. I typically have my Canon M50, but I'm using that to film this setup tour, but it'll sit right here with a dummy battery connected uh, to the dummy battery power source, as well as an HDMI cable that feeds into my cam link on the back of my PC. Moving over to my PC, I'm still rocking the same PC that I have been for the past two years. I really haven't had no issues with it. I am starting to notice frame drops on my stream and I'm really trying to maybe get a 40 series or an upper 30 series card in the near future, as well as a whole new case. I'm still rocking with the Corsair 465X case. My CPU is a Ryzen 7 5800X connected with the Corsair Compellix AIO. I have 30 two gigabytes of DDR4 3600 megahertz RAM. I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong in the description. Six total LL120 fans, a 2070 Super with some white cables for both my mother motherboard and GPU. I have an M.2 SSD as well as an eight terabyte hard drive and an Aurora's X570 motherboard. Pretty sure that's everything. Let me know if I forgot anything. Also up here, I always miss this in my setup tours. This is just a simple clamp on kind of adjustable um, arm that I use for my webcam and this serves as my keyboard cam on stream. Moving down on the lower part of my setup, this is my mini fridge. This is a purchase that I feel like I initially really wanted and just kind of find myself not really using. I just restocked it like for the first time in six months and it's just expensive to restock it with drinks and it's not always the healthiest too, but I do have an upcoming bit -a -thon, so I had to make sure I have enough energy to last for 12 hours. So that's part of the reason I restocked it and for this video as well. Then moving on, this is my Mavix M5 chair. Honestly, one of the best decisions that I've ever made. You may notice that I took off the armrest. This was a trend on TikTok and I ended up trying it and I love it. It makes you feel so much more free in the chair. You don't have anything restricting you and I can just rest my hands on my desk instead of kind of having to conform my armrest to my desk height. But besides that, this chair is extremely comfortable. I love the mesh, super breathable. My room does get extremely hot. That's my window is always open and especially during the winter, I absolutely love it. Next, let's move on to these shelves. On the top shelves we just have some family pictures of when I was younger. Up here we have my setup cam that kind of acts as a setup cam for my stream. Probably one of my favorite aspects of my stream and I just have a super long cable that goes all the way across the shelf, all the way down and into my PC. In my deep cleaning YouTube video that I just recently filmed, I ended up cleaning off the majority of my shelves to try to give it a more simplistic and non-cluttered look. So I ended up throwing away all those product boxes that you've probably seen in the past setup tours that would typically sit on this shelf. I still kept my Apple shelf. This is a staple in my setup. I absolutely love it, but I made some changes. I ended up throwing away a lot of the duplicate boxes that I had and just kind of cutting it down to the ones that I really liked the most. The next shelf I actually cleared off completely there were originally a lot of keyboards and other personal things that would just sit here like camera gear and camera accessories but for the Christmas setup revamp I wanted to clear that off and kind of just make it all look simple for those of you who are wondering it's more garland and I kind of cut it in half and use the rest up here this is all fake snow as you were seeing and I ended up using some extra lights that I have to um, put under the fake snow and I think it adds this super cool glow effect the lowest shelf you may remember this as my sports shelf I had a bunch of football helmets baseball Balls, souvenir cups and other things I cleared this off completely to have my Christmas theme on this shelf for those of you who are wondering these are the Govi bulb lights they're actually meant for the outdoors but I was able to kind of makeshift and make them work in my setup I had to get creative and kind of tape the cords together so that I could make them like the space in between the bulbs smaller because they were originally like three feet apart and that just wouldn't look good as you'd only really be able to see like two of them. I really love the look that they give off. I think it's super subtle. Nobody really notices them until they pay attention, but when they do, it just kind of makes everything pop. I got both of my gnomes chilling in the fake snow. Let me know down in the comments what I should name these as well. I still haven't come up for a name. This is my fake white Christmas tree that I bought off Amazon. 
on, I added some lights and some blue ornaments as well. Really like how it looks in the background of my stream as just well as the content in general. This is my floating bed, which is honestly one of my favorite parts about my room. I built this back late summer with my dad, and this is honestly one of my favorite things in the setup. And for those who are wondering, no, I just don't throw stuff under the bed. I keep it really nice and clean. And I am just using another Govi RGB strip under the inner layer of the bed to give that floating and glow effect. And on my wall, I've still kept the Govi Glide wall light. Absolutely love this. Probably one of my favorite RGB accessories. Let's move on to the productivity setup. This is my 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. Absolutely love this. People always ask me, do I actually use this setup? And the answer is yes. Every piece of content that you've seen since I've bought my MacBook has been edited on my MacBook. The workflow of editing on a MacBook compared to a PC is something I don't think I'll ever go back to a PC for. For one specific reason, AirDrop is so convenient on a MacBook. But moving on the way I have everything set up, this is a 32 inch ultra wide monitor that's wall mounted to my wall. I have a USB-C plugged into a USB extender. Um, these are my chargers for my Rode Wireless Go microphones, as well as my keyboard and mouse cable. I have my HDMI cable that plugs into the back of my monitor, as well as the charger for my MacBook to actually allow me to display things on this monitor. It's still on a $20 MacBook stand and I really like how it all looks. Just like the mouse pad on my main setup, I'm rocking with a gutsy Aiden mouse pad. This is probably one of my favorite ones as well. Still rocking the same keyboard. I personally think that using a TKL keyboard, especially for editing and just workflow in general is super helpful. I'm also rocking the same coil cable from Highstar that I'm rocking on my main setup. And I'm still rocking with the glorious Model O mouse. I haven't had a need to change this. It works perfectly fine. It may not be the best and most comfortable mouse, but it gets the job done, so I'm happy. Over on the right side, I have my Grove Made MagSafe charger. This is super clutch, as when I'm editing, I can have my phone charging, or if I'm on FaceTime with somebody, I can have it charging and FaceTime them as well. Over here, we have a floodlight. Also, I have another floodlight behind that Christmas tree. I forgot to mention that. And then above the productivity setup, this is my Govi Neon Rope Light. I recently just got sent out more of these that I put around this whole window, and I really like how it looks. Moving on, this is my 3D clock. This is one of my favorite parts of my setup. Over here in this corner, we have the biggest purchase decision that I regret the most. I think we can all agree the Oculus was fun for the first couple days and then we just stopped playing it. It kind of sucks because I really did enjoy playing VR and I spent a good amount of money on some games but I just don't ever find myself having time to even play with it. Inside my closet, I just have clothes, tripods, camera gear, uh, keyboards that were originally sitting on those shelves and just more camera gear clothes and boxes and other stuff like that. Nothing super interesting. All I gotta say is I'm super happy with how my whole entire room and setup has turned out. I was really nervous going into this whole Christmas setup revamp, but it turned out so much better than I expected. I really do think that the blue and white color scheme fits my setup the best, and red and green just doesn't feel like it fits the room well. Anyway, enough rambling on. I hope you guys did go on to enjoy the video. If I missed anything or you have questions about anything, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I try to read all my comments and respond to the ones that I can. With that being said, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, feel free to hit a like on the video and subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a future upload. And with that being said, thanks again for watching this video and I will catch you guys in the next one.